Hey y'all, what's up? Jasmine here. Happy 2021. I know I haven't really posted a video in a while. I just want to thank everybody for continuing to view and watch my videos. I've continuing to get a lot of comments and a lot of subscribers. And so I just want to continue what I'm called to do. And um, you know, it's 2021. It's time that we start fresh, that we start again, that we keep going forward for our dreams and what we're called to do. Um, 2020 was really tough for a lot of us. You know, I moved to a new city, I lost my job, and I felt like I was really at my end. And I needed to make a change in my life or things were gonna be the same for 2022, you know? So I hope you guys are also um, not being caught in the season of insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results, but actually moving forward and making a change in your life. Uh, something that I had to do and I am back and I'm ready to continue um, my videos and I really felt led to talk about um, Deuteronomy 22 and 5 and it says that uh, a woman should not wear uh, a man's garment and a man should not wear a woman's garment and I feel like a lot of people take this out of the context you know and they apply it to women shouldn't wear pants you know um, and I, I get, you guys, I get so many comments from people that are stuck in a very legalistic mindset. I had a comment recently that said that um, women won't, won't enter the kingdom of God unless they get rid of all of the external beauty. They add the aesthetic and the uh, synthetic beauty, like uh, makeup and jewelry. And I was just like, that's not what the Bible teaches. You know, Jesus said that people don't enter the kingdom of heaven because they don't believe in him and because they make a practice of sinning. It's not in the Bible that says that women are going to hell because they wear pants. Women are going to hell because they wear makeup. It's not, you know, we take it out of context and we condemn people that are doing very normal things. I mean, just think about it. Well, God, you know, you're standing before him in judgment and you wore pants all your life. You really think God's gonna send you to hell because you wore pants all your life or because you didn't believe in his son and you didn't repent of your sins? You know, why do we do this? We reduce, you know, our repentance, our salvation to these external things, to legalism and men's tradition. And we're missing the whole point of uh, salvation. And that's believing in Jesus and living for him, living like him. And so I wanted to really touch on Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I have been studying it for a while. Like I have been looking at online at different sermons. I've been looking at commentaries. And some people were saying that, um, we can't really decipher what was going on in that time, but what we can say is that the Israelites were God's chosen people, and he gave them all of these rules and legalities because he wanted them to remain holy. He wanted them to remain set apart and separate. And so there were uh, countries and nations around them that were um, not God's people. You know, they were uh, idolaters. They had other gods. Um, Babylon, you know, they, they had... Uh, Baal and other gods and they did these immoral acts to please their gods and so it made sense for God to say okay you know what you guys are my people you're holy so you this is the stipulations and the legalities I need you to follow in the Old Testament now it's different in New Testament you know when Christ came and all of those legalities and laws have their ending in Christ Jesus not to say that we do whatever we want but that we live like Jesus, we live for him, thus fulfilling the law, because that's what he came to do. And so in Deuteronomy 22 and 5, it's like, okay, well, women shouldn't wear a man's garment and men shouldn't wear a woman's garment. What does that mean? And so the commentaries were saying that the nations around them were uh, cross-dressers. They were uh, homosexual. They were trans, you know what I'm saying? And so... I believe wholeheartedly that God is condemning transgenderism, homosexuality, um, cross-dressing, anything that looks deceiving. God doesn't like us to live in deception and live in confusion. His order is female and male, right? So if you're living this life and you're choosing, okay, well, now I'm going to dress like a man. And now you're confusing people out in public. They don't know what you are. You know, I've had that happen to me before. Uh, not me, but like somebody else. Like, sir, ma'am, I don't know. <laughs> you know, um, and, and also tomboys. 
um, you have some women who were just manly in character and in stature, and they would dress like tomboys, you know, because they're not a girly girl. And I believe God is condemning. He's saying that this is an abomination to my design. It's when you cross dress and you look like what you're not, you know, transgenderism, all of these type of things. And then we see rappers today, they're putting on dresses and, um, you know, doing these questionable things. And that's an abomination to God. I believe that that's what that's saying. This is not saying that women can't wear pants because there are women's pants. If a man puts on women's pants, you can tell like, okay, his skinny jeans were probably the female kind and they are too tight on him. Um, so there are women's pants, there are women's dress suits, you know, but when you're intentionally cross-dressing to appear as the opposite gender from which you were scientifically uh, made, then this is condemned before God, obviously, you know, so uh, this is what this means and we can't go against nature, you know, we live in a generation where uh, people want to start uh, defying science. At first they were defying God with science and now they're defying science because they want to do what they want to do and live in any kind of way. And uh, Paul even mentioned in 1 Corinthians 11 and 14, doesn't nature teach you? Um, and that's talking about hair. You know, women, we naturally have longer hair and men don't. Um, so he's saying, doesn't nature teach you? You know, men are not uh, effeminate men that come off really feminine and they dress feminine abomination this is not your design um I'm not saying that a man can't be a, a little a soft nature but like a, you know what a feminine man uh when you see him when you hear one and so these things are offensive to him because it's a it's against his gender role to the design that he made and so um i would that's what i wholeheartedly believe this is about is cross-dressing transgenderism deception and your appearance trying to be what you're a God-given design is not and so that's it you know I don't know if I debunked it or not but I just feel that this is what that means I believe that this is what that means you're not going to hell because you're wearing pants okay but you're cross-dressing you're living in deception a homosexuality transgenderism you're trying to um you're seduced by this this um this deceiving spirit of, of being like a man and then okay you know, this is an abomination. It's not what you were made to be. I uh, can't defy science. Your chromosomes say what they say. And so that is what it is. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, we have something new going on with the Modest Movement. We have a Spotify playlist. Um, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with our blog post. I'm still busy. Even if I haven't made a video, please go to modestmovement.com and check out all the new stuff that we got going on. We have a playlist. I want to get, um, we're going to have some gospel artists, female artists coming to share their story, their inspiration. Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be big. We got some social campaigns coming up that we want you guys to be a part of. I won't share it yet, but you need to subscribe. You need to uh, get on our email list and get on our Instagram so that you don't miss when we want you to participate. So God bless you guys and hit me up. Let's talk. Drop in the comments anything that uh, you may want to add to this. God bless you.